So guys, talk to me about the last work that you did as homework. And uh, in particular, because I'm still receiving your response, in particular, anyone that, uh, so I haven't really checked everything that's what I meant, anyone that is difficult. Is there any of this question that is difficult? If there's no one, then we're not going to waste time uh, debating or talking about it. So if we have one, okay, I think Anika is knocking on the door. That's Alex, okay, not Anika yet. Okay, here comes Anika. Miss Badminton is here. Today is Wednesday. Guess what happened today? I fixed your class and from five to the same time, mistakenly. And I only realized like 4 a.m. today. Anyway, they have to change their time because they have more free time than you guys. Uh, I mean, their, their schedule is more flexible. That's what I mean. So we had 11 to 12 or from five. 15th April, 2020. Okay, we're still on logarithm. So more practice today. especially what problems today if we are able to achieve that. Yes, so where are we? Um, just a sec. Have you opened your worksheets and getting ready for Anyone that is not clear, does anybody have a particular one they want to ask me? Oh, Mr. Danny, I tried to do this one, da da da, I couldn't get it. Oh, I'm not sure, something like that. Please talk to me now quickly, and let's waste time. If no response, I assume everybody's okay with every question, and I move on. So we have question now, say it now. Melody, question? No. no question. No question. Just a question. No question. Okay. Looks like you have too much light on your face. I'm not seeing your lovely face very well. I'm gonna close your window or something. If it is window, just like close it a little bit. All right. Okay. So why Krista is getting ready? Justin, question. I'm just picking people randomly. Anika, question. Okay, thank you, Justin. Anika, question? You have a question? What? No. No, okay. No. Kelly, question? Kelly's on the phone. Okay, she'll join us later. <laughs> Wait, who's joining again? Shelly, how did I forget Shelly? Maybe someone joined, two people joined twice then. Oh, Justin joined twice, I see. All right, Miss Shelley is here now. Okay, let's ask her if she has a question before I assume that there's no question. Hello, my quiet friend, Shelley. Talk to me quickly, we are waiting for you. Yes. Hello, how are you today? Uh, do you have any question from the homework? Uh, no. No, all right, so she's good. Okay, so she's good. Let's get on with our life. Everyone is good. So they say, hopefully that's true. Okay, so let's go to the worksheet. And like I said, some questions uh, I wouldn't want you to do now. Some questions we'll do later. Can I ask everyone to look at question 18? It's right there on the board. Five minutes, question 18. See what you can do. Question 18, five minutes. Mm, not signing. 
because she depends. So this is the question. Yeah. So that one. Five minutes. So open brackets, lean x close bracket squared equals three lean x minus one. Solve this for x, give your answer in exact form. Which means no decimals. Exact form means don't introduce decimal, you don't need calculator, something like that. I pause our recording so we don't record unnecessary stuff. Manson and Candy, I got your work. So let's see. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Candy, check your work already. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. Manson checked. Joey. Mm. Wonderful. That's it. That's it. That's the trick. I'm trying to check if <clears throat> everyone is uh, familiar with now. Very good. Let's see if we can have some more. Uh, if you're not able to, please uh, say something so we can do it together. Mrs. Daniel, I don't know how to do it. That's okay. I, it's okay. I just want to check a few so we can. Uh... Okay, that's okay if you're not able to. I also do not understand how to do it. That's all right, sir. Okay, how about I give you guys a clue? Okay. Let me give you a clue so you can make, uh, you can try again. All right. I'll give you a clue. Uh, Sasa, could you give me the uh, question, please? Dictate the question to me. Two open bracket lin x close bracket squared. Mm -hmm equals to three lin x minus one. I get it. Yeah, I get it too, whatever that is. So it starts by saying, what do you notice about this? Is there anything that is appearing in different places and is exactly the same? What's that? Lin x. Lin x. So start by saying, let's lin x be M. Have you seen that? I understand now. Yango, got it? Uh, okay. Do you know what to do now? Yango. Oh, okay. 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 Do you know? Yes or no? <laughs> All right. So let's take a few more minutes for those that just got the picture. Denise, checking yours, very good. Sesonia, very good. Oyu, Oyu, you're not done yet. The question is to find X, not to find lin X. So Oyu, you're not done yet. Giselle, wonderful. Rita, Rita, you only found, what, what, what is it? Uh, Rita, no. Rita, can you look at the screen? You can have lin x, the square root of, all those kind of stuff. Then you change lin x to x, you cancel lin. No. Rita, can you hear me, please? Yes. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Rita, can you look at count? Number one, your approach uh, is not uh, supposed to go that way. But let me tell you where the main error is. Count from the question, step one, two, three, four. 
Did you notice that your lane disappeared? Yes. What is the reason? What does lane mean? Isn't that log? Um, lane is not to be, right? And the only yes. the only situation where I mentioned that you could cancel log is when you have something like this. Maybe log of something equals log of something. As long as they have the same base, maybe AA, they can assume that this log is gone so that these boxes can be equated. That's the only situation. Not when you have maybe log something and there's some square root with log divided by something plus something and you claim that this log can cancel. No, that's, that can happen. So what you should do is this. What, we, what I wrote here on the board is what you should do. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So from the beginning, what you should do. And you form a quadratic equation and solve. Okay, so I'm checking more work now. Are you? Yeah, that makes sense now. Kelly? Yeah, that makes sense. Good. Good, good. Let's see if... Uh, while some are doing that, let's see if some of us can be doing something else. Okay, so for those that are done with that, please look at question 35 and 36. 35 and 36. If you are done with your work, look at 35 and 36. If you are not able to do that, please don't worry. If you are able to do the other one, please send to me so I can check. Um, except Krista, uh, I, I trust that she should be able to, but uh, she can show me later. All right, Anika, and what is Kata Small? When did you change your name to Kata Small on Ouija? I've always been Kata Small. Really? I thought there's this yes. logo and T-E-R that you use. But yeah, but that's only on the group. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so Mr. Kata Small. <laughs> I prefer Mr. Iron Man because of your wristwatch. Okay, Anika, check your work. Very good. So, Rita, do you know what to do now? Are you making progress? Yes, I'm doing. Good. All right. So, let me know if you need me to do it. Yanko, I haven't heard from you. Mr. Yanks. Yeah, hello. I haven't heard from you. Hi. Are you stuck? Uh, no. Okay, you just need more time. Mr. Daniel, I'm saying the question. You're seeing the question. What do you mean you're seeing the question? I'm sending the question right now. Yeah, send it. <laughs> when you send it, I'll check it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, have I heard from Justin? Yo, Mr. Justin, what's up? Almost done. Okay. So let me see who's not saying something to me yet. Melody and Sisoni, I got Sisoni, I got Melody already. Good. Alex, got it. Yes, Alex, that's good. So Rita, you sent also, I check now. Rita, good. Now, Rita, you're not done yet. Rita, you have only found. Oh, Rita, the recall part. Is X your M? Where's Rita? Yes. Okay. X is not M, is it? Is X M? Are they the same? No. So you got M is half or M is one. Then you recall and you claim that X is half and X is one. 
How does that work? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So you got, uh, after so many calculations, you got M is equal to half or M is equal to one. Then you recall, you recall that lean X is equal to M and immediately you claim X is half or X is one. So basically, are you saying M and X are the same thing? No. Uh -huh. Do you understand what you did now? Yes. So what do you think you're supposed to do from here? Because this you are still correct up to this point. What do you think you're supposed to do from here? We did it in la the last set of questions in last lesson. One of the things I advise that you do is to write that lean properly. What is another way of writing lean? What does it mean? Um. Okay, I'll help you because of time. So first, write this with what M is. So this is lean X equals half, because M is half. Lean X equals one, because M is one. Does that make sense? Yes. So with this, Lean from our last lesson, lean, I think somebody mentioned it today. Carter, can you remind me, lean means what? Mr. Ironman, what is he doing? Is he listening to me? Can this guy hear me? I guess not. Let's call someone else. Uh, Alex, what does lean mean? Lean means uh, log E. Log to base E, not log E. Okay, Rita, do you remember that? Oh, yeah. So basically, this is log to base E. Just change that. Log to base E. And you see, this is what you should have done. And then you can apply the log 6 that we learned. So x is e to power half. x is e to power 1, which is e. That's all. It says in exact form, no calculator required. Some even wrote this as another in another line, square root of e, or x is e. It doesn't matter. If you stop here, it's fine. You write this, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, that's what you should do. All right, let's see more entries. And saying, checking. I'm saying I can't see how you how you got the next step. I don't know where that came from. So this solution is not acceptable. Kelly, very good. Detail is shown. Good. OU, detail is shown, accepted. Yanko, I got your first entry. Okay, Alex, very good. I got the first entry, King Long. Elsin, got your first entry. El Elsin, there is no plus or minus, please. There is no plus or minus. X cannot be negative. Okay, I get it, yeah. So there's no plus or minus. When you do square roots, just leave it as that. Thank you. Ansen, did you understand what I mean by the second yeah, yeah. shown? Ansen? Yes. Uh -huh. So you need to stop skipping steps and stop writing things the way you want it. I've told you, come on, stop thinking like from three, from four. You're now a big girl. Can you show the questions again? Which question? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, three, six, yeah. All right, okay. Uh, where is it? So 35, 36. And you should have your worksheets with you anyway. So 35 and 36. So we're starting with 35 and 36A. Now, uh, does everybody know what this means? 
No, I don't know what Sigma? that is. That's not Sigma, that's Pi, the uppercase of Pi. This is Sigma. Pi? Yeah, that's Pi. Where's Sigma, where's Sigma, where's Sigma? I thought I had Sigma in this problem. Okay, Sigma is hiding from me. I don't know why. But that's not Sigma. Where is this Sigma? Can you see? Hello? Yeah. Uh, All right. So that's Sigma. That's Sigma. Okay. Helsin, who are you talking to? You seem distracted or chitty chatty with somebody. Who are you talking to? Helsin? Uh, nothing. Who are you talking to? I'm not saying what are you discussing. Who are you talking to during this class? Talking to myself. Really? I was thinking about the question. Okay, just making sure. Okay, FY hi. Uh oh, maybe I put it here. This is spy that you know. This is spy for products. Miss products. Okay. The sigma that you know is this. Miss sum. Okay. Another uh, notation for sigma is used for standard deviation in statistics. Okay. Standard deviation in statistics. Which is this one? Are we doing 35 and 36? Yes, sir. Okay. I hope everybody understands what I mean by product. So if you have sigma notation, I wanted to write that. I'll write that here if anybody needs that notation. Sigma and by notation. Oh, uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. class ends at one, right? Twelve twenty to one. Right? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm still I'm still okay. Sigma the upper case of sigma means sum. Lower case, I'm just mentioning that. We use that to represent standard deviation in statistics. You don't need to worry about that now. standard deviation so it looks like this something like that so if you have 
this maybe r equals zero r equals one for example to maybe four of r squared that means summation of r squared of all r squared let's put it out of all r squared where r starts r range from one no, let's put it that way r ranges from one to four So if somebody writes summation r equals one to four r squared, it means one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus four squared. Does that make sense? So that's a sigma notation. Yes. If somebody writes summation, maybe j equals zero to j plus one cube and j up to five it means two times zero plus one you substitute j from zero to five and you add okay uh, two times zero plus one cube plus two times one plus one cube okay plus two times two plus one cube plus two times three plus one cube plus two times four plus one cube and you stop at two times five plus one cube that's the meaning of sigma okay sigma means summation so similarly we have the pi notation okay so the upper case of pi is for product just like the upper case of sigma is for sum. The upper case of pi is this means products. Um, just three straight lines okay means products so what about the lower case just additional information why the lower case I means 3.14 or 180 degree radian. It's okay, intrigue. So it could be one of the two. If you're talking about geometry of shapes, pi can represent that. If you're talking about maybe area of circle, then this lower case of pi. So lower case of pi looks like this. Upper case of pi looks like that. Does that make sense, guys? So now we are interested in this one. So again, if you have pi equals one to maybe four of maybe r squared, it means products of all r squared, okay, where R is from one to four. Okay, so basically, R equals one four here of R squared simply means 
1 squared times 2 squared times 3 squared times 4 squared. That's the difference between this and sigma. So if you have I, yes. Mr. Daniel. Yes, Kelly. Uh, what is the index, index number of 180? Like in the bracket, I can't see. This one? This one? Yes, with the index number. Degrees. Okay. I wrote 180 degrees. Mm. Oh, okay. 280 degrees. I actually thought you said something because we call this the index. Okay? Uh -huh. I thought that was what you were saying. I'm like, wait, where, where did she get that from? Oh my God, she's been studying something behind my back. <laughs> All right, so if you have some I equals two, two uh, maybe five, and maybe we have uh, three, or maybe we have R plus two, maybe R plus one, yeah. So this means when R is two, you have two plus one, you multiply with when R is three, you have three plus one, you multiply with when R is four, you have four plus one, then when R is five, you have five plus one, whatever you get is the value of the sigma notation. Does this make sense to everyone, the sigma notation thing that I put on the board? Yes. Talk to me, please. I have a question for, for the 5 pi i equals to, why is it at the, like the bracket r equals to 1? Isn't it i? Oh, apologies, sir. Oh, OK. So that should be i. You're right. You're right. You're right. I guess I was used to what I wrote before. So this is i, or maybe I changed the, see the indexing symbols. Let's just change it to k. So it's not confusing. Okay, Yango? Uh, okay. Right. So take note of this sigma and pi notations. Uh, it's my help coming handy in some of the questions you will do now and in future. Uh, who is this? Charlene. Okay, I got the first one. Justin. All right. Justin, uh, try to do some of these things side by side, okay? Look at the correction that I did on the board. Yeah. Uh, is this the first question? The first question, yes, okay. the first question. Try to do side by side, okay? Mm. Uh, who is this? Candy. Um, Candy, number 36A, the last part is unacceptable. 35A, the last part is unacceptable. You can't jump from log 32 to base 2 equals 5 in my class. You need to show me how. And number 36B, hmm. what did you do? How did you get what you got? How is that product equals log 216 base 6, something like that? How did that happen? Uh, you're not showing me uh, what to do and how to go about it. So my lack um Yanko, okay, Yanko, I've seen your 35. That's very good. 35 is very good. I'm almost done. Yeah. Yanko, did you hear me? Yeah, yes, yes, I'm just yes. copying down the notes. Okay, so the 35 is very good. Well done. Elsa, you sent to the group. I haven't asked you to send to the that group. Was an that was, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Kelly, very good. I've seen what you did in 36A. Giselle, I've seen what you did in 35A, I mean, Kelly. So Giselle, good. Or oh, 36A, Kelly, yes, good also. Elsane, very good, very good, very good. 
Nice profile picture, by the way. You look like a baby there, Nelson. Is that your baby picture? Candy, did you understand my question? Do you understand it? Yes. My, yeah, so I don't want to have an idea. No, this is not about having an idea. Oh, I know what I'm doing. You have passed that stage now. That's like a childish way of thinking. I've mentioned that before. Uh, you are getting to a bigger role in mathematics. You are getting to learn more about math. You are now going to be higher authority as far as high school is concerned. So your work should be convincing. When we start learning proofs, uh, I mean, from five, uh, I'm not saying in my class, I don't know if I'm teaching. I don't know if, uh, I hope so, I pray so. When we start learning proof, you realize that things don't go that way. You have a lot of show this and you have to show some rigorous approach. It's not about skipping steps or whatever. No, that doesn't hold it anymore. You know? So you need to stop writing uh, from, from here, just skip to the last step. No, you write that, you don't achieve what you want to achieve. Or what you're supposed to get you don't you don't get that so please everybody needs to stop writing that way for me Alan and uh candy please i don't want that kind of solution in this class anymore okay it's 104 already uh you need to actually go for a break but before we go i want to show you something let me see where we did mathematical proofs with the form five then maybe you can understand why you need to drop that mentality of having an idea in from three and from four. Where is this proofs? Aha. Uh -huh. So everybody please uh look at the screen. I'm going to share something with you now come on come on come on um, now let's look at the screen this is reasoning and proofs that you will be done in form five i ask everybody to pay attention i'm sure whatever kelly is writing could wait till i'm done Whatever anyone who is not looking at the screen is writing, Elsin, Yanko, whatever they are doing, could wait. I need everyone to pay attention right now. Elsin is not listening. His mind is not. Are you listening to music while listening to my class? No. Because I said it like three times before you could actually look up. And maybe when Alex is done, he could tell me so I can start my own discussion. He seems not to have uh, anything to do to, to do, do with what I'm talking about. Are you done? Shall we wait for you till tomorrow? And Yanko, I don't get to see what's going on down there. So I only just see your head all the time, so please. Please adjust your camera, everybody. Okay. All right, so this is mathematical proofs. These are some of the things you are going to be doing as time goes on. So I'm going to show you something now. Uh, let's look at maybe proof by exhaustion. Now, here is some question. Given that this proof, blah, 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 for all that. You see, you see the way details were written. If we divide this, blah, 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 and this, this, this. So there's a lot that you have to show. There's a lot of steps. There's a lot of, you know, argument that must be indicated. And this is, it continues. So you don't say, oh, because I have checked when N is equal to 5K, then I can just, you know, for example, I think uh, 5K plus 1, 5K plus 2, 5K plus 3, 4. 
there's no there's no there's nothing like oh when you do this look at this because we want to show that it is divisible by five which means we should be able to factorize five out when the solution gets to this point you never saw something like just move to the next one this fact five that we needed to show that it's divisible by was factorized out and a conclusion was written but when some of you do this kind of work currently the moment you do you do this you show this expansion you show the how you collected the like terms you just move to the next one because you think that everybody can see that this can be divided by five Yes, everybody can see that it can be divided by five, but I'm not everybody. So you don't show me, I don't get to your point. When five was factorized out, even this example does not stop there. There's a conclusion, which is divisible by five. So N is divisible by five, always linking it to the original N from the beginning. But the way some of you write, your lazy way of writing, you won't show all this. You won't. This is proved by contrapositive. So many proof. From five and I spent so much time on this. The proof is to let n be an integer, prove that this is even, then this is odd. If this is even, then this is odd. The statement starts by the contrapositive is this. Then showing it. Some of you will not start with the contrapositive is this. To you, there's no need to write it. And you can see that this proves the contrapositive and hence it proves the original statement. Some of you will not write the conclusion because, oh, you expect Mr. Daniel to figure it out, that you have done it. No, I'm not gonna figure anything out. You are the one that should write something confused, con convincing to anybody checking your papers. So please let all this, you know, way of thinking like uh, only idea is needed. Uh, Mr. Danny needs to just understand that I know it, then it's going to figure out the rest for me, or it's going to give me my points just because he knows that I'm a very good student. That doesn't count anymore. So you need to stop that. You need to, I'm, I'm not going to be warning people, warning people all the time. So you guys need to stop. You guys need to stop. Those in question, they know themselves. Some of you don't just write, like to write a lot of stuff to you. It's just too much pain. That will not, uh, you know, that will not be good in this stage that you're about to get to. Proof by induction is another important proof that we see if there's a whole chapter for it, even though I taught it with the general proof with the other class. And I'll show you one example of a proof by induction. Look at this proof by induction. You can see it, there's a step by step. There's a step by step. There's a step by step. And there's a conclusion. All the sentences are written, not just write the mathematical expression and you think your teacher gets it. I don't. I don't. The idea is to prove something is divisible by three. Three is factorized to achieve that all the time. And there's a comment that, oh, it is divisible by three because when three is factorized, the rest is integer. You can see where this is an integer. It's even indicated there. Not just, oh, because I factorized three, then everybody can move on with their lives. No. So please, you need to stop this way of writing, thinking, oh, Mr. Danef can figure it out. That needs to stop now. Otherwise, we are aiming at a seven in your IB grading. You might end up getting a four. Because it's in your head. And your examiner is not in your head. I'm not in your head. I can only judge you based on what you show me. And if you don't show me convincing stuff, I'll show you how I be grades. Because this is what I also shared with the form five. And I pasted it in our class. I could remember pasting that in our class. I be grading, grade descriptors. Yeah. for math, because we are no longer this IGCSE student anymore. So we need to stop thinking future-wise. Find math, where's math? It's not math, okay, let's just find math. Yeah. Okay. 
Greg at Martin Graves Descriptor, 16. Ah, say this. Demonstrate a thorough knowledge and comprehensive understanding of syllabus. Con successfully what? Constructs. All this, let x be the equation, uh, let x be the number, then you form an equation, then you follow it logically. That is what it means, and apply mathematical arguments. How do you apply an argument if you don't write anything on the paper? At a sophisticated level, not thinking like a baby. Did you see that word? At a sophisticated level, not thinking like someone who is doing mental math. Mental math is when somebody gives you five square plus one, and you just write, oh, 26. That's mental math. You think about it in your head. In a wide variety of contexts, not in one topic, in wide variety of contexts, successfully use problem-solving techniques in changing situation, recognize patterns and structures, make generalization, and what? Justifies conclusion. How do you justify something if you keep skipping the important stuff, thinking your teacher knows it? This is not your teacher can justify for you because your sister has seen what you are doing. Understand and what? Explain the significance and validity of results. You are explaining something in your result. Some of you don't want to do that. Draw full and relevant conclusion. Look at this. Look at the next one. Communicate what? Mathematics in clear, effective, and concise manner. In clear manner. If you don't communicate your idea to me, you don't get this stuff. If I happen to be that guy on the other part of the globe marking your paper. So this is why you need to drop this stuff. Please, I've said it times and times over, and I can't believe since form three that we've been together now. In fact, from form one, and this is quarter to form five. Some of you are still writing that way. I could still see it. It doesn't happen every day, but you get to relax and you just think, oh, I can do it. I can do it like that and nothing will happen and everybody gets it. No, this is where you are going to have issues. I'm happy to send this to you so you can read it yourself. This is math grip descriptor. Whether you're having a, uh, SL or HL or you're having A or AI, this is a grip descriptor. You can see grade one. Look at the minimum something that that person needs to communicate. Only minimal mathematical and consistently. Only minimal mathematics. You see that? Communicate only minimal mathematics. They're not saying no only minimal because there's a difference between you know and you can communicate. This is demonstrate minimal knowledge. How do you demonstrate that you know the old syllabus if you don't write it down? And I keep saying this, it looks like, oh, Mr. Downey just like to give us so much work. It's for your own benefit. Because I'm not going to mark your paper for life. If I don't teach you next year, that might be the last part I'm teaching you. So this might just be the last time. And if I'm teaching next year, what's the scenario I teach you up to form six? That's the best, or let's say best case scenario, not in a negative way. Okay? And the next thing, some guy in some, it could be in Poland, it could be in Kenya, it could be in Liberia, it could be in the uh, United States, is the one marking your paper and it doesn't know you. And he's not going to call me and ask, Mr. Daniel, what do you think about that, your student, uh, Justin? Do you think he's smart enough because he didn't show all his steps? That's not going to happen. Justin is going to defend himself by writing the details on paper and not skipping steps thinking, oh, it's irrelevant, or thinking it's a waste of my time, or thinking, oh, the person understands what I'm doing. No. We want you to demonstrate it. We don't understand what you're doing. Demonstrate. Communicate. I've said it over and over, and I hope some of you can change before you miss the target that you'll be needed for your university application. There's no much difference between the six and seven. But if your university is asking for a minimum of a six for a particular course, and you childishly, childishly 
drop to five in your grade, then nobody is to be blamed when that university said no to your application. But they needed to demonstrate what you know. And it's not a place where your parent can go speak to the director of the university. It's not a place where your parent can have a parent-teacher conference with the professor. You're on your own from that stage. So stop thinking like a baby, grown up. Everybody, grow up now. I'll see you next time. If you are, I will send some stuff to your uh, Edmodo group, uh, sorry, to the WeChat group. And uh, if there's any work I needed to do before Friday, I'll let you know. But in general, I think everybody has done a lot of practice today. So I'll see you on Friday. Bye now. Uh -huh.